वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल ऑन टैबलू दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज विल हेल्प यू टेक योर स्किल्स फ्रॉम बिगनर टू एक्सपर्ट लेवल इन टैबलू डो नॉट फोगेट टू हिट द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू आर द फर्स्ट वन टू नो वेन एवर आई अपलोड एनी न्यू वीडियो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू स्प्लिट कॉलम्स इन टैबलू लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू द डेमो ऑफ वट वी विल बी डूइंग टूडे here i am using the sample superstore dataset the requirement is that from the email id column that i have added in this dataset we want to get this user id for each of the customer that is everything mentioned before the add symbol for the customer clary walker the user id that we want is clear 50 walker next we want to split the product id column this column into three different columns the first column will contain everything before the first hyphen that is fur the second column will contain everything between the two hyphens that is bo in this case then here ch then further we want la from this row and the third column will contain the product number that is everything after the second hyphen which is this number in this video we will see three different methods to split columns in tableau so the first method to split the email id column is by clicking on this drop down and click on split now when we will scroll to the end we will see two new columns created tableau has automatically split the email id column into two different columns using at symbol as the separator so the text on the left hand side of the add symbol let me show you will be present in the first column and the text on the right hand side of the add symbol that is gmail.com will be present in the second column let's scroll to the end so here you will observe that the text on the left hand side of the add symbol is present in this first column and the text on the right hand side of the add symbol is present in this second column that is the domain which is gmail.com next for the product id column which is this column we need to split this column using hyphen as the separator the first column will contain everything before the first hyphen that is fur the second column will contain everything between the two hyphens that is bo then ch and the third column will contain everything that is present after the second hyphen which is this product number so click on the drop down click on split now scroll to the right and here you will observe that product id column has been split into three different columns and tableau has named these columns as product id split 1 product id split 2 and then lastly product id split 3 so you can identify that these splits have been created using product id as the column so tableau has split the product id column using hyphen as the separator and as a result we have three different columns let me delete these columns and show you one more option to split the column so let's delete these three columns click on delete and the 
three columns that were created using the product ID column are deleted. Now go back to the product ID column. Click on the drop down and here click on custom split. Here we will have to manually give the separator how we need to split this column. The separator will be hyphen. Now suppose you want to split the product ID column and the requirement is to get only the first two columns. So here make sure first is selected and the column count will be two. So this will split the product ID column using hyphen as the separator and will give us first two columns. Now click on OK. Let's scroll to the right. And here you will observe that the product ID column is split only into first two columns. Now suppose you just wanted the product number from this product ID column. Then click on the drop down, click on custom split. The separator will be hyphen. And from the drop down here, you can select last and the count will be one. So we are telling Tableau to split the product ID column using hyphen as the separator and give us the last one column, which is this product number. Click on OK. Now scroll to the right. So here we have been able to split the product ID column to give us just the product number, which is the last column in the split. Now let me delete these columns again. Click on the drop down and click on delete. Lastly, if you wanted all the columns from this product ID column, then either you can click on split or if you are clicking on custom split, then here you can mention the separator as hyphen and from the drop down click on all. So this will split the product ID column using hyphen as the separator and will give us all the columns. Click on OK. Scroll to extreme right. And here again we have the three different columns that we have got as a result by splitting the product ID column. So this was the first method to split the column into different columns. Now go to a new sheet. Let's see the second method to split the product ID column. So first let's delete these columns. Click on the drop down and click on delete. So now to split the column, go to the product ID column, click on the drop down go to transform and here you will see the same options split and custom split that we saw previously in the data source window. One difference that I want to tell you between split and custom split is that the new columns created after custom split will always have string as the data type. So let's click on custom split here the separator will be hyphen and we want all the columns click on OK let's drag these three columns to the row shelf so here you will observe that the first two columns have text data so the string data type is given to them which is correct the third column contains integer but still the data type for this column is string. You can also observe from here that the string data type is given to these three product ID column. So custom split will always give string as the data type to the new columns. But if you want you can manually change the data type here. So let me select number hole. Now let's see 
what data type will be given to this third column if we were using split option so let me delete these columns click on the drop down click on delete click on yes now let's split the product id column using the split option here you can observe that the third split has been given the integer as the data type so this is one of the difference between the split and the custom split option now let's try splitting another column let me check this product name column drag it to row shelf click on add all members let me increase the width so that the product names are clearly visible now suppose here the requirement is we need to split these product names after each comma here comma then here we will see two commas are there in this product name so first let's try splitting the product name column using the split option now go to product name click on the drop down and go to transform then click on split now the tableau has split the product name column into two different columns let me drag these columns to row shelf you will observe that tableau has not been able to split the column as per the requirement so in this case where we have multiple separators like comma then space is also considered as the separator we will have to use custom split so let me delete these two columns and we will try to split the product name column using the custom split go to product name click on the drop down go to transform then custom split and we want this product name column to be split based on the comma as the separator and we want all the columns so from the drop down select all click on okay now tableau has split the product name column into four different columns let me drag them to row shelf now here you will observe that the product name column is split after each comma so in the first column this product name will come till envelopes here the first column contains everything starting from 1/4 till envelopes then starting from 24th till cards will come in the second split and the third split will contain this 25 envelope per pack which is here and few products also have data till fourth split now let's see those rows where the data is present in the fourth split as well let me scroll down here you will observe that the data is coming till fourth split that means adams phone message book is coming in the first split then professional in the second split third split will contain 400 message capacity and the fourth split will contain this dimension this dimension is present in the fourth split 
so this was the second method how you can split the columns in tableau now let's see the third method to split the column which is simply creating a calculated field you will observe that the split columns are basically a calculated field let's edit any one of the split so click on the drop down and click on edit here first of all trim is used to remove any extra spaces if present at the starting or the end of the text then further split formula is used here split formula basically returns a substring from a string using a separator either from the start or the end of the string now here in the example we are splitting this text using hyphen as the separator and after the split we want the second split which will be b so a will be the first split then b will be the second split and in the second example we are splitting this text using hyphen as the separator and here minus 2 is mentioned as the token number that means we want the second split from the last last will be d and the second last will be c so here we are getting c as the result now let's close this calculated field create a new sheet let's drag customer id column to row shelf click on add all members let me increase the width now let's split this customer id column using the calculated field to get the alphabets before the hyphen so click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it customer id split and here write down split then first we have to give the string which is the customer id column comma we need to give the delimiter which is the separator so within quotes we will give hyphen and lastly we need to give the token number that is which split column we want as the result in our case we want this first split so write down one and if you want you can even enclose this formula within trim to remove any extra space at the start or the end of the string click on okay now drag this new calculated field also to the row shelf now here we have been able to split this customer id column and we have all the alphabets if you want this number as the result so let's edit the customer id split calculated field click on edit and here instead of 1 we will write down 2 click on okay now we have this number from the customer id column so in this way you can use either of these three methods discussed in this video to split the columns as per your requirement if you want you can rename these columns as well so let me rename this column product id split 1 click on the drop down click on rename and let's name it product id code i suggest you to watch this video again to become familiar with all the three methods that were discussed in this video to split the columns in tableau this was all that i had to cover in this session i hope this session was helpful thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial